I was at dinner with my lady and I got a call from a random number and sure enough it was KD and he was like, if we can link up, I'd like to get a piece from you. I went back to the table and my wife was just like, you gotta be me. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen his work on Instagram and I respected what he did. Just the detail in his portraits is unique. He did my Tupac and I got the Wu-Tang logo at the bottom. This one was Rick James. I just really loved the picture. He gave me uh, Aaliyah, always been a huge fan and probably my first crush, you know, and Left Eye came right after that. Oh man, another crush. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I always just love the pictures, you know, yeah. and how they look on my leg. It'd be dope to see that detail on my leg. It's a canvas to me. After Durant, word spread quickly throughout the NBA. In my mind, I was like, I mean, I know he got this long wait list, but I might be able to jump the <laughs> list. Man, Steve's done. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten, nine. 14 or 15, I think. So this is like the Rushmore of people in my family that raised me and, you know, played a big role in my life. So I started with my grandmother, and then it was only right that I got my grandfather. And then on the back is my dad and my uncle. And of course, I had to have my mom right here. This is the latest tattoo he just did, which is one of my favorites. I got the Buddha face right there. And he did the Batmobile right here, who's my favorite superhero. But having high-profile clients comes with its own unique challenges, like when KD and DeAndre Jordan invited Steve on a trip to Greece. It would be here where Steve's skills would be put to the ultimate test. I'm half on the floor, like leaning over, trying to get his knee, just taking up the whole plane. I was like, man, what if something fails in here? We're using too much energy, too much electric. I don't, it was a lot of stuff going, going on in my mind. No turbulence issues? Man, it was rough getting up there for sure. Every time I look at this tattoo, it's, it's, I can never not think about that trip, that whole experience, and it brings back a whole lot of memories, so it's cool. Steve's work has been featured in commercials, magazines, and he was commissioned by Nike to design a Jordan brand shoe. How hard is it to get an appointment with you now? Every day I gotta say no to somebody. I only have two hands. There's a point where I had to kind of just draw the line and cut it off. But the NBA keeps calling. D'Angelo Russell puts the names on top. Oh, Tatum with a slap. Who's the toughest guy and who was the biggest softie? Oh, man, you can't put me on the spot. <laughs> I got to give it to John Wall, man. John Wall can sit there for 10 hours, and he'll feel it, but he'll take it. And then I don't want to say who's the softie. Come on. No, I'll just say this. These, I'll just say this. <laughs> these younger guys, these rookie guys, they got to uh, they gotta understand it. These tats aren't put on in two hours. Steve's work has expanded beyond the court and into the hip hop community, tattooing artists such as Future and the late Nipsey Hussle. I mean, your, your skill set is not regular. You know what I'm saying? I got tatted by a lot of people, bro. So your shit, the way that shit heal, the way the detail come out, you know what I'm saying? So he did this. spent a lot of time so together so just working on his body of work, you know what I mean? And putting his tattoos together. No camera, you know what I mean? Be like on stages. We can't afford to have no shabby tattoo. There's so much more behind these tattoos that means something to the person getting it. it means something to me giving it to them. Yeah. That um, not everyone gets the experience. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just tough to talk about. Steve continues to tell his client stories through his artwork. On this day,
Cleveland Cavaliers guard Jordan Clarkson has made a trip to Canada to see Steve. But it'll be bigger, so like from here across the room, you'll be able to see the face and everything. When it comes to this kind of stuff, it's like personal. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be there forever. So, you know, I put a lot of trust in him. And, uh, I felt like a lot of people was like shocked at how fast I got tattooed, but it was the quality of tattoos. My clients are real special people, man. It's not just like, oh, I tattoo basketball players. These are like my family. Did you put him on the map? No, no, of course not. His art did that. His creativity did that. Just him being who he is did that. We just, you know, a part of his journey, and we wanted to be blessed with his work. In the league, pretty much everybody got tattoos, and uh, for him to play such a big role in that, I think that'll be a huge part of his legacy. He's been around my child. I've been around his family, so it's more than just artwork and, and, and tattoos, it's, it's something deeper than that. I feel like my body of work is defined by the relationships I have with my clients. I know my work will die in, in, with the bodies, you know what I'm saying? But like, I know those, those memories and the impact that I can have on people through my artwork is the legacy I want to leave.